Now, dairy company Clover and unions representing Clover workers have met with the Department of Trade, Industry and Competition. It's uh, the second round of negotiations as a 10-week-long strike continues. Now, Clover used to be listed on the JSC. It was delisted after it was bought by an Israeli consortium, Israeli-owned consortium in 2019. At least 850 people lost their jobs in restructuring, but unions claim that around 2,000 have been retrenched. For more on this, we're joined by the General Secretary of the South African Federation of Trade Unions, SAFTU, that's Welenzima Vavi. Uh, Mr. Vavi, thank you for being with us as, as always. Can you explain government's involvement here and are the uh, different parties moving close to, closer together or, or further apart? Well, uh, the government has a responsibility as a very critical stakeholder in the manufacturing sector to ensure that uh, the disruptions that we have seen in the production of the dairy products in our country comes to an end very, very soon because the strike has a devastating impact on the image of South Africa here and, abo and, ab and abroad based on the issues and the parties that are involved in the dispute. So we have welcomed the intervention of the Minister of, of uh, Trade and Industry. We've also welcomed the, the intervention by the uh, Competition Commission, who all of them are involved in the discussion with the unions and the company Plover to ensure that a solution is found. The strike has gone on uh, for 10 weeks now. Workers are making supreme sacrifices in support of their very lives. And the attacks that are being uh, meted out against workers are unprecedented. Never ever did we have to negotiate with the company that is demanding that workers must forego 20% of their salaries. Never did we have to talk to a company so arrogant and demanding that the entirety of the, of the gains workers have uh, secured since the Vian Commission of 1979 must be reversed to make life impossible, to make working uh, life and experiences impossible. Uh, taking away, proposing to take away Sunday work for future workers uh, and to make a working arrangement that will almost send us everybody into a life of, of slavery. Yeah. We are but but Mr. Bavi, if, if they're going against the law or doing something uh, really abhorrent, uh, can't that be dealt with through the courts? No, unfortunately, not everybody, not everything goes into the court system. There are some rights that, uh, that uh, by their nature have to be fought for in the streets. And when workers choose to use their power in order to defend the gains, they are within the rights uh, to, do, to do so. In fact, the, labor, the, 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 the Clover Company have tried twice now to interdict the strike in order to get it declared illegal by the Labour Court, and it has failed in all of the attempts where it has tried to do so. Yeah. So this is a perfectly legal strike within the habits of the law. It must continue, it must, pass, it must be intensified in the coming weeks. Clover, I understand, has, however, been granted an interdict against uh, some workers, and this is around the destruction of uh, property and intimidation. Uh, Gawusa and Fawu have been ordered to publicly denounce violence and the intimidation of non-striking workers. Um, are, are you concerned that uh, any violence, any intimidation is, is really uh, bringing down the cause? Absolutely. Divert attention away from the fact that this company is launching the most brutal attack ever you can imagine against workers in South Africa. It is warehousing our, our country. It is attempting to... But Mr. Bavi, I'm asking you about the behavior of workers. Are you disappointed and, and are you that's, willing that's, to denounce that, that behavior? That's exactly the point that I'm, I was, I'm, I'm saying that the, any kind of violence and intimidation and destruction is taking attention away from 
the children demands work as a person. And that's why Giwusa have publicly and in writing to its members condemned and uh, any acts of violence that are being pursued in its name. That's why FAO have come out in public to make a, a plea with workers to keep their activities uh, within the ambit of the law, to demonstrate militantly, to mobilize sympathy in the in, in the most aggressive way, but not to intimidate, not to destroy, and not to beat up anybody, not to force anybody against their will. That is totally something that we are against and we condemn yeah. without any, any uh, equivocation. Uh, Mr. Bavi, there's also been talk of a, a boycott clover campaign, uh, and, and that's over the whole issue of Israel and Palestine. This is an uh, Israeli-owned consortium that, that took over clover. Uh, do you support that, and is there any concern uh, if that is very effective and, and you can uh, bring the company down, but then the, the jobs would go with it? No, we need to put pressure on Clover and Milko uh, to come to the table and stop this massacre of jobs and to stop this uh, uh, destruction of the working conditions as well as cutting wages of workers by 20%. We are convening a meeting on Tuesday of all people who are sympathetic to the cause and who reject the presence of the Israeli company that is operating from the occupied territory of the Palestinian people to convene at sub to head office on Tuesday to look at how we can, through establishment of a war council, we can ensure that uh, that uh, campaign to boycott all of the products of Clover can be taken to even greater heights in the coming days. Yeah, but but do you want the uh, Israeli company to, to give up ownership? Where does it go if this becomes a, a much bigger issue uh, than just the, the workers' rights? It goes back not just to, to Israel, but it leaves in particular the occupied territories of the, of the Palestine. And we all know that uh, the Israeli regime is imposing its will through the barrel of the gun colonizing uh, the, 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 uh, the people of, of Palestine. But, but what I'm saying, what does this mean for clover workers in South Africa? Do they want the, the Israeli-led consortium to sell? No, they want it out. Uh, they're making the central demand that they must disinvest. They must go back to Israel. They must yeah. leave Palestine. And, and then and where does that part. leave the jobs? No, there, there have been always jobs of workers in, in Clover. If anything, this is the kind of investment that we don't need in South Africa. All investment is needed as long as it will protect the economy of South Africa. And this investment is not protecting our manufacturing sector. It is warehousing South Africa. And every investment that comes in here must protect the environment. It must protect the human rights of all South Africans. It must add to the industrial capacity of our economy. Right. And unfortunately, right. this company is doing the opposite of all of that. All right, we've run out of time. Thank you for your time tonight, and we'll follow uh, the negotiations. We'll follow this industrial action that was General Secretary of the SA Federation of Trade Unions, or SAFTU, uh, Zuelenzima Vavi.